Today I'm going to go through the three worst features in Hogwarts Legacy. And before I make anybody mad in doing so, just know I love the game. I give it a solid 8.5 out of 10, and I have a lot of good things to say about the game, but today I will focus on what can be improved. So let's dive into it. After I got through the long tutorial, I spent like 10 hours collecting stuff around the castle in Hogsmeade. I really enjoyed the chests behind puzzles and getting stronger gear on top of a variety of outfits. But as I got later into the game, I realized how easily I could get through all the content while playing on the hardest difficulty. It started to feel like it didn't matter if my gear was worse than it could be or if I didn't have the best traits slotted. And that sucked because I was convincing myself to 100% the game, which would have meant looting everything, including all the chests for traits, wand handles, and different recipes, that all of a sudden sounded like such a grind with not enough of a reward for me. Every time I met with this scenario in games, I get flashbacks to when I would grind out WoW for best in slot stuff, only for there to be new bis the next patch. I just got all the spells and grinded out potions and that alone made me OP with suboptimal gear. So yeah, I just stopped looking for every possible chest and continued on with the main story. I had got enough gold already to buy most of the recipes, a broom, and upgrades for my broom, which leads me to the other issue I have being the economy. It felt weird looting so much gear that you mostly just sell. And that is the only thing you can sell besides beasts. Filling up your gear slots to then go sell it all was not fun and it felt like a chore. But on top of that, after I got what I needed from all the vendors, I didn't find anything else I wanted to buy. Most of the things they sold were consumables or materials to craft consumables, but I could just make all that stuff in the room of requirement. So I just wish there were more things to buy. But I'm super curious if other people felt like this or if I'm just crazy, so let me know in the comments. This game definitely suffers from repetitiveness. Whether you are taking down camps, doing Merlin trials, or getting demigod statues, you will find yourself doing the same things a lot. Even though that is the case, I did actually enjoy doing that stuff over and over. There was a lot of room for creativity on how you accomplish these tasks, but where my redundancy gripes really come in are mainly most of the quests in the game brought me to the same types of instances with the same types of enemies. The first and second trials were pretty much the exact same but with different puzzles as it was for the caves and crypts. I did like the named enemies that were scattered around the world but I would have liked to have seen a wider variety of mobs in general. Though it was really cool that each mob had its own weakness and not just elemental weaknesses but different spell actions used at proper times. That's something you don't see very often in other games. But just like more things to buy, I just wanted more enemies. I think it's a great criticism to a game if you just want more of what they already have. It's like, you nailed it, but may you please expand on what's already there? And lastly, for redundancy, I wanted to touch on the voice acting. I think there was a lot of variety with quests, but much of the dialogue felt emotionless, which definitely gets old after a while. And it filters into what I think is the worst feature for me, which is immersion. Hogwarts Legacy is advertised as an immersive open world action RPG and I think it definitely lives up to that description. However, the game naturally lends itself to being a simulation type game. You pick how your character looks, you pick what house you're in, and you're interacting with the game as a fifth year Hogwarts student. It is definitely an action game, but I wish they would have leaned more into a sim style. There are many things that could be included in the game to give it more of that immersive sim experience. They supply a wide amount of companions that are tied to specific quests such as Sebastian, Natsai, or Poppy, but it would feel really great if you could travel alongside them just for general exploration. Everyone associates the Harry Potter franchise with Harry accomplishing things with friends, so I think a lot of people were wondering if you could have that freedom to explore with NPCs in Hogwarts Legacy. Everyone was also super curious if you could play multiplayer. I mean, it's the number one search on Google if you just type in, is Hogwarts Legacy? But yeah, yeah, if they had co-op this game would be insane i can just imagine how hype it would be to be able to explore with friends there's already such a love for the game and this would really take it to the next level but yeah i just couldn't help but feel a little lonely sometimes during the playthrough 
Another way they could have leaned into the sim experience more would be to utilize the sneak mechanic. I wish that you would have to sneak around Hogwarts at night. Yeah, it would be annoying, but everyone knows Hogwarts students have a curfew, and they even leaned into this by having that early sneak mission to get into the forbidden section of the library. So I wonder why they chose not to allow you to do that in most of the castle. Some of the coolest moments in the movies are when they are sneaking around at night, just getting things done. Speaking of nighttime, I really wanted to be able to go to sleep in my common room. The wait mechanic is very convenient, don't get me wrong, and it is great they have the day and night cycling, but I would have liked to see that in a more natural way. And speaking of the common room, there's barely anything to do in there. As much as people have hyped up getting into specific houses, it could have been utilized way more. But yeah, that's it for me. This was a lot of fun to put together. And next I will do the top three best features. So if you don't want to miss it, feel free to subscribe and also let me know how you feel about the video in the comments. See ya.